are Cosa boys <laughs> cheaters and dribblers? Cosa boys are cheaters and dribblers. Yes, they are. That's what I'm saying. Fight me. Fight me. All right, y'all. So, fellas, I was just saying this, putting on for y'all. Now I got to take it back. They're saying that y'all some cheese. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing them bad right there. It's a good compliment. They're the bad compliment. Then they come back to the bad one. <laughs> Golly. You know, I'm just going to make a power like, I know, I'm not. I'm just going to God. Okay. Just okay. make sure you have medical aid if you're going to deal with cause I'm bad. Do it for the experience, like once in your lifetime, just to remind yourself that you can actually die and come back to life. <laughs> just do it for the experience and maybe do it before 25, where you still have a stamina. Uh -oh. You know what I mean? Like, then you can, you can come back. The energy is great. After that... What's good, y'all? It's the Machettes, React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American Reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down. Hit, hit that the subscribe, subscribe button, button and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're, we're on, on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. What is the one misconception about your ethnicity that bore you? Oh, Zulu men are angry. We're not angry. Just don't make us angry. I'm so sure. man. Is that... Wait a minute. No, Zulus. We, we're not going to just... <laughs> no. It's no, like saying I'm not that person, but I am that person. It's crazy. You just don't make me... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to feel about that one. I, I, you guys just never gave that vibe. Hmm. Never get that vibe. Very strong individuals, but just like very but honest. They literally people. The the regalia mm -hmm. literally is like nuck if you buck. Nah, you know what? You got a <laughs> you got a huge point. Nuck you got if a you huge buck. point. Um, yes. Shaka Zulu got a huge basically, point. Basically, but. There's still that on the side. It is like okay. mad chill. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like loving, very jolly. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Know, huh? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, they but, aren't very nice. But you did on the nail with that, though. But the see. regalia. You did on the nail with that. That's hard. Yeah. It's very. If y'all don't know Nuck of You Buck, you gotta go look it up and. <laughs> don't play with me. Take it with <laughs> it like a. Just just take it on and just be accepted. I'm gonna go to the to and bring salt and pepper and a fork and knife. The fact that many people by lawyer, if you look at all the shows, the people who are actually practicing in their shows are the closest. When did you do that? Unless we are provoked, but we don't do that. Hold up, wait women like That's what say, Unless we are provoked. Unless you make me angry. Okay, we just gonna stay away. I mean, that's just the facts, though. You operate out of love. Why would right, you want right, a person right. operate on something different? Right, right. So don't pull them out of character. Right. That's just straight business. Stand like, on their good side. All ten. You ain't even gotta worry about it. We love y'all. Okay. <laughs> Money, because our women are loud. We like people's men. I don't think we like people's men. I just think that they see us and they just can't believe their eyes. Ooh. One stereotype that I actually believe about Tosa people is that Tosa people are gorgeous. <gasps> Have you seen me? <laughs> I know I say we're not gold diggers, but money talks. <laughs> uh -oh. This is the hill we're willing to die on. Money. Are Zulu men aggressive and cancella? Zulu men are quite aggressive just in their demeanor because they're very rude. But, boy, can they shallow though? I don't know. I, I, I. Have you not seen the wife? All of them are literally gangsters, but here we are, <laughs> ready to just be like, take my hand. Mmm. <laughs> Someone will not go that. Oh. Oh. Hey, they putting on for their brothers now. They putting on for the men out there. Wait, I ain't even catch it. I ain't catch it. Swana. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Dang it, y'all. I don't think I have heard from y'all group in a long time. Literally. Yeah. So if you are a part of the Swanas, let us know. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. I, I really... It's been a long time. I think when mm -hmm. we was getting into first getting into the history. So yeah, yeah. come on y'all. What we need to watch? <laughs> Danger Khavar Ingozi. Turn a woman will take you for everything. They will terrorize you. No. Loki. In the most subtle way. Are <laughs> 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 cheaters and dribblers? 
Tosa boys are cheaters and dribblers. Yes, they are. That's what I'm saying. Fight me. Fight me. All right, y'all. So, fellas, I was just saying this, putting on for y'all. Now I got to take it back. They're saying that y'all some cheese. Y'all, y'all, y'all doing them bad right there. It's a good compliment. They're the bad compliment. Then they come back to the bad one. <laughs> Golly. You know, I just get my bag of power like, I know, I'm not. I'm just going. Cool. God. Okay. Just okay. make sure you have medical aid if you're going to deal with cause I'm bad. Don't uh-huh. for the experience like once in your lifetime. Just to remind yourself that you can actually die and come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> just do it for the experience and maybe do it before 25 where you still have a stamina. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Like, and you can you can come back. The energy is great. After that... Yo, she uh-huh. said it's a feature that was seen as unattractive growing up but now is on trend. It would be like being like thick. I'm a big girl, so my weight was deemed unattractive. And now people are telling me not to lose weight, which is kind of confusing. The skin, mm. complexion. Oh, the darker you were, the more you were bullied, hey? Having hit That's in the hard. Okay. Same for y'all, because I remember with us, like, way back, we used to talk about that, like, when you was real dark, mm-hmm. people kind of, like, stay away from you. Mm-hmm. You get you get joked on, basically, and that's... That's a huge stereotype yeah. that worked on this side as well. Yeah, so. people do deal with it here. I haven't dealt with it. And, of course, when we're when we're younger, we're darker. Mm. Especially when we play sports. Like, both Dion and I were much darker than what we are now. Yeah. Um, and I, that's because we just not in the sun as much. But I can't, really, we are. But I can't tell you if that's the same truth what in today's time. The darker people are getting, like, bullied. Like, right. schooling wise, and you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's like, I feel like it's people are just more in tune mm-hmm. with what melanin is, mm-hmm. you know, so it's they can beautiful. look at it exactly, you know what I'm the saying? The darker the bear, right, baby. And that was their main line back in the day, too. <laughs> they just get picked up, they were like, that's the yeah. part. Yep, so I don't yep. know, but you know, being from our state, mm-hmm. and maybe if you are a darker skinned person from our state, let us know. But I feel like we just come in all shades. Definitely, so yeah, 100%. I never 100%. heard any bullying around me. And that's mm. coming from elementary to college, I guess. I've never heard, and I had friends who were all shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard any bullying. Yeah, well, my group, we always joked. You a guy, though. Exactly, you so guy. you heard it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Whether you're in the, the middle of a test or walking down the hallway, you heard somebody right. making a joke. Yeah, right, 100%. not a joke. A joke. A whistle. Oh, okay. A joke. It was a hard joke, yeah. <laughs> um, also having a big bum, bushy eyebrows. Oh. Big nostrils. Oh, the big no, nostrils, and we are still fighting for that one. And we will, as a people, win. Popular assumption in black community you if you've gained Hello, it. Wait a minute, baby, because I love the nose. Wait, what happened? What about the, the nose? The big nostrils. I got the big nostrils? You do. Back? And you pass it really? on to our son. Now it's very <laughs> telling on him, on him. Yeah, but for me, I never face. really looked at it like that. I ain't yeah. even gonna have big nostrils. I love it. Okay. That's one of my favorite hey, features. Baby, see, I got big nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> it Y'all sounds like bad you. though. Wait a minute. You do. If because if babe said I got big nostrils and I got big nostrils, it just don't sound. You do. Cause, Cause it's not you, like one of those conversations you sit back and be like, "How's my nostrils today?" Because your features are normal to you. You've been looking at yourself in the mirror for all these years. You know. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So y'all don't like big noses. Mm. Like, that's really mm, mm, one of my favorite mm. features. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I respect that. Thank you so much, love. Um, you welcome. Nine you know, because you got a small head, so. Yeah, we're going to stop here, and we're going <laughs> to press play. The game weight is... Woo! Who did my Oh, uh, I want to y'all wanna catch that back real quick. Let's get it real quick. We will, as a people, win. Popular mm. assumption in black community if you've gained weight. If you've gained weight, it's... Oh, you my life. Oh, my my life. Oh, 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 some ugly yellow bones, aren't they? No, they are. They're definitely, definitely. Oh. 
If you're, you're not born to Keza Mobisi, I'm like, hey, which <laughs> house? And I don't care if you, if you're rich, which house are you bopping with milk? What are some of the popular Crazy. assumptions associated with being called a dark chocolate? Okay, so I, I, I like this here because she's talking about yellow bones and dark chocolates. Mm. Here, it was what it was. If mm. you're being called yellow or red at mm -hmm. that, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just a... It's just like a stamp for that individual as she's passing. That's how yeah, the guys yeah. would kind of do their hollering. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I can say, although I, I personally didn't deal with, like, the colorism issues growing up, I, can't, I do remember, like, yellow bones were, like, the prize. Shoot, what'd they say? What, Miss Fire Red? Yeah, Miss At one Miss point Fire in our Red. music? Yeah. Um, I need a yellow bone. That song. Ah, uh, they Chopper. got a few. Chopper style, was it? Or was it, it Chopper? No, it, she a yellow bone? Something. Like, it was always in our music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But I don't think we looked at it as, like, a, a profiling of race. It was just like a, no. it was just like a title. I don't know. And I guess because my mom is what you would consider red, a uh, yellow bone. Yeah. I never really yeah. had no thoughts on it. Because my mom instilled in us confidence you know yeah but i don't think it meant any harm right because you know? from a guy me i would be like oh look that little red walking well, out look that little chocolate or look that yellow bone basically mm -hmm. and that was it and then yeah yeah i don't know let us know so does it yeah. for you guys do it carries that colorism or mm -hmm. is it just like a title for a young lady that's guys used as an approach method you know what i'm saying so right when they say someone's dark chocolate yeah Dark They're black. Yeah. That was sesh. It's got an undertone of like, you're pretty for a person with this tone, mm. which is oh. not the best. Their skin just literally looks like chocolate, especially when it's all oiled up and <laughs> mushroom. What are you So doing? I gotta say this real quick. When they were talking about the yellow bones, the energy was here. Mm -hmm. Rich, she got yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. When they talk about the, the dark chick, it was like black. It went down a It's just bit. like, there wasn't. Given, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's like yeah. standoffish almost. And that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I do know. Could be the clubs they chose. They have could have had the energy for it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, but just the, I don't know. How do y'all feel? Because, like, here, like, we understand it here, but in South Africa, like, how do y'all... Y'all deal with colorism issues or something? Well, I, we have talked about that. We have. Before. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Just let, let us know how y'all feel. Yeah. Men with beards. What about men with beards? It type galo. It type yummy. If you have a beard, hit me up. Cause I like. Whoa. I think it's the beard. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> if it doesn't, leave it. What are your thoughts when it comes to gold, gold, gold mouth tooth? dog? <laughs> Gold tooth, no, please, thank you. <laughs> no, no gold tooth. Oh. What happens with your phalanges in your teeth? I don't know why they ever existed. No. Yo. And, and, and it's almost like gold teeth and particular traits <laughs> go together. It's that province there with the wife and you know, the carvers. I don't know what it is there. I feel like let it come back as a detachable one. You know the grills? Those are really nice because you can what? Take them off so that we don't see every day now we are walking around like this. What are the signs? Bro, like, so that's like, mm -hmm. that's crazy that, so is it like a type of grill that y'all would prefer or is it strictly gold teeth is a big no-no? Mm. Because for some fellas, it's like wearing glasses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's on, then it's off. Yeah. But some people actually have it permanent and wear it as a lifestyle. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. They take care of it and... That's just their appearance now. Uh huh. My mom had two goats. Yeah, shout and then out, she Mama. Took v. Them out. Mm -hmm. And then she got them back, huh? She got them like back. She was, she like, she had them for like fifteen or something years. No more than that, cause she has had them all my life. And then she took them out when I was like in my twenties. And then about five years later, she put them right back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my brother had them. Like that, that's a big part of our culture. Yeah, hundred percent. Now, yeah. whatever I pop up on this video within my mouth. Mm, we'll see because you've been talking about it for a while that you have been ghosted the signs that you've been ghosted it's dryness can you hear that mm -hmm. right yeah, silence if it goes dream 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 for the dead time no you are ghosting me mm -hmm. you can see online it says whatsapp 
Catherine is on live. <laughs> 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 Your calls. What are some That's of right. the offenses that warrant ghosting someone? Some offenses that would warrant ghosting are uh, bad hygiene, the lack of effort, racist, yeah. degrading to another woman. When you find out that they're in a relationship with someone else, all yeah. those, all those. Man, this was hard, bro. Man, I don't know how y'all came across this, but same more. Yeah. Um, because this definitely gave a lot more insight. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah, I just liked it. I think this was a pretty dope video. Yeah, yeah, it was it was fast, so we had to go fast. But yeah, that was some cool topics. Yeah, all right. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.